D, what are you doing? That's all I have left. I'm using this precious liquid. No, you can't. Yes. Yeah. That's all I have one left. One drop, one drop. No. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, all oh. right. This no, it. but for real, okay. that's not cool. What up, guys? I am literally at the grocery store with my uncle. We need sriracha, but I've heard there's a shortage and we just need to figure out if they have any at this grocery store. Is there sriracha? Is there something that says sriracha on there? There's sriracha mayo. Sriracha mayo? That doesn't count. Chili sauce. Poison. What is this? Duck. Coconut milk. Teriyaki. They don't have any the bottles with a green top. Okay, guys, listen. I'm a mess. I get it. It's because I haven't had my sriracha in like freaking a while now. Okay, I need it. This is what's gonna happen. I'm going on Amazon. I'm buying every single sriracha bottle I can freaking find. We're doing a taste test. We're gonna find the sriracha that tastes the most like sriracha so you know what to buy. And if we can't, I'm gonna try to recreate the recipe. <gasps> is Hoi Foods going to sue me when I release the deeps? Probably not. Probably won't be that accurate, but it'll be pretty close. Do you have sriracha here, like the real sriracha? You have it? Where'd you get it from? Oh, you got it before the shortage? I, I own like a 20K. So Do you have any extra you would sell me? No, I don't have. It's so expensive now and I, I can't know. find it. Can I buy a bottle for 20 bucks? Um, no. 30 bucks? 35 bucks? Is it available? It's not. Wow, it's all on eBay. 50 bucks for a giant bottle, but at least it's big. 70 bucks, $18, it's a tiny one. But this one, what the heck? And a $7 shipping fee, they should at least pay shipping. Is somebody actually gonna buy this? They've got two watchers. 400 bucks for 10 bottles of sriracha. Would you buy it? No. Let's not mess this up. Let's not spend too much money for sauce. Might get it. Well, at least I'll have sriracha. With any luck, I'm gonna have this sriracha in five days and 20 hours on a Tuesday. Unlike many of you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna fix this problem in this video. Three little bottles, 63 bucks. Feels like a deal. Got the goods. Three bottles of the best liquid gold of all time. Oh my God, someone's coming. Oh, I just... All right guys, got a lot of srirachas to try. Which one's gonna taste the most like the original? It's gonna get spicy in here. Yoji Cha, Lieber, Spadia, or Badia. Correct me in the comments. Organic Kitchen Garden Farm, Tabasco brand. Weak knees, ass kicking, and the fix. Is there something about the top not being green that makes it good or not? This green top makes it seem really healthy and good. Here's some things you didn't know about sriracha. It's actually sriracha. Ah, sriracha is actually a type of sauce, which we're obviously learning about today based on the huge selection. Hoi Fong is actually the brand that we're all obsessed with. It's actually significantly less hot than a jalapeno. And people think this stuff is spicy. Some crazy person actually drank three pounds of sriracha once. The brand name actually comes from the founder's ship that sailed into the US for his journey to make this sauce for everyone's liking. You can cook really good food with it. My favorite use personally is a tuna tartare because I'm so fancy. A sriracha shortage? Some experts say that the shortage is partially a consequence of climate change, an extreme drought in Mexico and U.S. Southwest where Hoi Fung sources all of its chili peppers. So there just aren't enough chili peppers to make the sauce. So we obviously have to find an alternative and today that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Get this green screen out of here. We're in a kitchen. Let's not pretend we're at some factory where they make the sauce. All right, guys, welcome to my house. I live here now. These are all of the sauces. How beautiful. We got a camera there, a camera here, and a camera here. Hi, mom. Thanks for watching. You're my main fan. Probably would have stopped doing this without you. We have so many flavors of sauces here. Well, one flavor, but I assume they all taste super different. The one that I think is gonna taste the most like sriracha is this one, Tabasco. Yeah, I heard from a friend that Tabasco, Sriracha, probably the tastiest out of all of them. But we're not passing judgment here until we do the taste test. We're gonna taste all of these, put them in order, the greatest to the worst. And we're comparing to the best, so if this ever does disappear from planet Earth, we'll know which one we'll be buying. Let's find out. Sriracha, the real Sriracha, is made from sun-ripened chilies, ready to use in soups, sauces, pasta, pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, chow mein, or anything to add a delicious spicy taste. And on here, there's actually writing that looks like it's in Chinese or Vietnamese or something, which means it's authentic. This other stuff, I'm not seeing any other languages so far. A little taste. <laughs> this is gonna be spicy day. God, it's so delicious. Okay, 
number one. Cha by Texas Pete Sriracha Sauce is a bold and spicy blend of chili, garlic, and tropical tangy notes. Cha is the perfect fusion of sweet and heat, adding a kick to dishes like pasta, pizza, and tacos. Or get creative and use cha as a marinade or dipping sauce to get a sweet, fiery flavor infusion. Five calories, sodium 170 milligrams. What are we looking at here in Sriracha? Only 70, so this one jam packs that sodium in there. Actually, that's impressive. They made this worse for you. <laughs> Let's try it. Ugh. Okay, it's kind of tangy. It has that flavor of acidity that I didn't know I wanted. It's not the exact sriracha flavor, but it's spicy, it's yummy. Sriracha cha. Actually, I like that. It's like cha cha cha, but um, sriracha cha. It's obviously not going at the level of sriracha, but until something tastes better, I'm gonna put it right behind. Up next, the Basco brand. Preservative free. Hail to the heat, it says. Get things cooking with this spicy, sweet, and savory blend of flavors. Use it on everything from Thai dishes to burgers and fries. We handpick red peppers and age them in oak barrels to create our famous pepper sauces. Just like our legend legendary founder first did in 1868. Just a touch of Tabasco sauce adds a big kick to this sriracha. So they make the sriracha with Tabasco sauce in it? it actually makes a lot of sense. Try it on chicken, chips, burger, fries, taco, soup. Going in for a taste. Oh, it's sweet. It's really sweet. It's not spicy. I actually imagine this to be freaking hot as hell based on Tabasco being so spicy. I kind of feel like the Texas piece has a better flavor, but it has a different texture I don't like. The tang in here is just a little too harsh. Tabasco, you're going above Texas Pete. On to the next. Lieber's Authentic and Delicious Sriracha Hot Chili Sauce. This says hot and spicy, and it is looking as if they're trying to make it look like Chinese script, but it's English. Tricky. Lieber's great for sandwiches, dips, and spreads. Shake well, remove cap, and break foil seal before using okay. Oh, Lieber's also makes chocolates. That's good to know. On here, 15 calories. Okay, pfft, I'm not trying to get calories from hot sauce up in here. This one's so far the most unhealthy, so I hope it has a good flavor. A little too much came out. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised by that though. You know, sometimes the high sodium levels on things are gonna make things taste good. Whoa, Lieber. I have to do direct comparison just to test it. Ooh, Lieber, you're going there. Number two, I'm surprised. I, I mean, health level alone, I would say get 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 out of here, but if we're trying to recreate our favorite thing without spending so much money on eBay, Lieber, all the way. Either Lieber or leave her. <laughs> Badia or Badia. Somebody actually told me once that they didn't like this type, so I was like, okay, well, I have to make sure I buy some. Chili sauce with garlic, sriracha, picante, pasta, pizza, hamburguesas, peros, calientes, chow mein, huevos, mariscos, lumpias, empanadas, shawarma, y todo tipo de comidas. Okay, listen, this bottle has Spanish on it. Is it a Spanish brand? Everybody is making sriracha these days. They know it's the thing to do. Where does it rake? Ugh. Oh, it just doesn't taste like a sriracha. It's, it's actually spicy though. It's got a heat, which is kind of neat. The flavor isn't like a sriracha though. It kind of just tastes like a hot sauce. I need it to be a sweeter flavor. You're bad to the bone. Don't last for now. We'll see. We'll see if you're there forever. I kind of feel bad. I feel too bad. It's just a sauce. Okay, moving on. Bottle we didn't open because it looked so cool. Ass kicking sriracha. Howdy. Hot sauce. Kick yo ass hot. We're looking at five calories, 10 milligrams of sodium. Not so bad. I like you on the sodium level here. Does that mean uh, you're gonna taste bad? I hope not. You did really good branding. Oh, don't smell it, but do squirt a bunch in your mouth. I don't recommend this, but here we go, guys. We're doing this for science. Oh, a little too much. Oh no, you don't taste like sriracha. But you're spicy. Oh my gosh, I feel like I just gargled it. That's just unhealthy. Okay. <clears throat> Don't do that, guys. Okay, this is spicy. I don't hate this as much as I hate the baddie. I don't have a lot of hate in my heart. But this is gonna go here, mainly because I just really like the kick-ass stuff. Next, what do we got? Sriracha Fix. The best hot sauce on earth. Get your fix. I like how cute and little the bottle it is. It says here, our fix journey started with a life-changing trip to Vietnam. Firsthand, we tasted the difference that authentic, fresh farm and non-processed goodness made. Our minds were blown. From here, we made it our mission 
mission to bottle the premium bold flavors of South Asia and share it with everyone home. We used to be interested in average bowls of pho served with your average hot sauce. We want more and you deserve more. Fix was born to bring the best damn hot sauce to America. Okay, we're looking at 127 milligrams sodium and 3.1 calories. I wonder where they got that 0.1 part. I've never seen that on the label. 55 servings in a container, one teaspoon per serving. So let's squirt some in our mouth. No, you're not a sriracha. Mm, you're better than the other ones though. <laughs> okay, the, the heat grows, it's growing. I should get ice cream or something. This is either gonna give me a heart attack or high blood pressure. I don't really know for sure where this goes because they're starting to taste a little bit too different. Now this one's sweet, this one's also sweet. I feel like the quality of this one's better. This one's also sweet. I feel like this one kind of tastes like ketchup though. It's gonna go above the kick ass because I mean, the branding, but you're fixed. That's a good branding too. This one's cute. I have to put it here because it's adorable. We've got two more adorable little bottles to try. Put them in the ranking. That way you guys can know exactly which one to buy. Weak Knees Sriracha. Your classic Sriracha just got an upgrade combining the spicy sweet flavors of traditional Sriracha with the fermented complexity of gojujang chili paste. This little baby, it is little baby, will give you weak knees. Weak Knees gojujang Sriracha is great on anything from scrambled eggs to hearty burritos to mac and cheese. Okay. Okay, 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 you're putting this on mac and cheese? Who are you? A criminal? Sodium 65 milligrams, 10 calories. Goju Jang. Probably gonna be really good. My nose is starting to run and my face is melting, so all in the day's work. This actually is making me weak in my knees because it does taste good and I would want this on stuff, but it does not taste like a sriracha. Actually, unfortunately, that has to go all the way at the bottom. I think that I saw the word sriracha on that. I bought it, but it's got too much of a gochujang taste. It's reminding me of like a Korean dish. It goes with a bibimbap. Last one to try. Sriracha. We've got it, but this is the organic one. Wholesome. We're ending with wholesome. Farmer grown, farmer made from seed to sauce. The Kitchen Garden LLC in Sunderland, Massachusetts. Ingredients are organic grown on our farm. The organic cane sugar, organic distilled vinegar, organic garlic and sea salt. Very great. Five calories and 90 milligrams of sodium. Last one to try. It tastes like apples. It's not a, oh God, what? Like, it, just because you're making a chili sauce and you're calling it sriracha, is it because it's like a garlic chili sauce? Like, why do these people call this this when this is the staple? I just don't understand. This is not working for me, unfortunately. No. And it's not because it's organic, because that that's the perk, okay? Organic, that's where you're gonna go. That's where you live. Really sad about that. Here's my list. What do you guys think? Have you guys tried any of these sauces? Do you agree with my ranking here? Sriracha obviously wins king over everything, but when you look at it and you're looking for something else, try Liebers or go Tabasco or even try some cha. But these ones, maybe leave them in Amazon or try the other sauces that these companies maybe have. I bet they're really good or use them in cooking and maybe you won't really be able to tell as much. But if you're using it as a topping on something and you're looking for that sriracha flavor, this may be the only way to go. Hot and spicy, that's what they call me.